Hi everyone. I'm surprised I make a video of this one. This one's actually a little bit older. Uh, I made this about three months ago. Uh, it's what it is. It's just a build on my old uh, poor man security system. Uh, it has a whole bunch of different features. When it's in standby mode, it consumes very little current. I would have used a big uh, a pick to program so uh, all the needs of all, all the needs of this uh, project. But at the time, I wasn't playing with picks, but I am now. Anyway, so. When it's in standby mode, there's very little uh, current being consumed, very little power being used. Uh, when uh, the how it works is this: you power it up, and uh, there's a very long cord. I was going to put a transmitter on it, but I just decided not to for because it's easier this way. Put a slot sensor on about three meters of wire, and uh, the slot sensor is the act is the activator. So when someone breaches the slot sensor, what happens is we get a countdown timer of roughly about 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to put in your code. It's a silent. But you basically get a silent alarm. So it doesn't really give the uh, only someone who, who intentionally set it off and, and knew that they had set it off would would know to put the code in. Otherwise, the the alarm would go off after 10 seconds. So. The only way to disable the the alarm is to put in a four-digit code, and I've got a chip called the LS7220. Uh, I've actually sell them on electroniclessons.com, and uh, it's a really neat chip. It's a it's a uh, keypad chip, security keypad chip. So uh, let me just power it on and walk you through it. Okay. As well, uh, I forgot to mention I put a power on reset, a custom power on reset circuit, so uh, everything starts off in the state I want it to, and I've got a lot of flip flops on here, so um, I power it on, everything starts off in, in, in a known state. So I take a, uh, I tape this to my door, somebody opens the door. Here's my slot sensor, I breach it. So as you can see, the timer starts going. Now I can't rebreach it. I've got circuits in there that prevent me from rebreaching it, like to turn it on off. Once you've breached it, you've breached it. The only way to turn it off is to do a certain code. Now that's what happens when, when uh, after the if you, after the alarm goes off. Now there's actually a circuit that's going to be down here. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've got a, a phone rigged up to a bunch of relays and up to a uh, programmable uh, microcontroller that will actually call the police. It'll call 911 under certain circumstances. Very similar to this. There's actually just enough room here to put that circuit in and uh, hook it up to the phone over here. So, one more time, if you'll actually notice, one of the interesting things is that I've basically set this thing up so it's got its own power managed modes. See when it's in when it's when nothing's going on, you got very little power being consumed. And here, when the seven, the only thing that can consume real power on this thing is a seven segment display in the relay over here. And so, if you notice, as soon as as soon as it goes into alarm mode, this whole circuit shuts off to save power for the alarm. It's a lot louder if, if I had it up there. We go. So it's it's a very annoying alarm. So. Two five. I can type in any code I want. It's not going to go off until I put two five six nine, and the alarm goes off. Lots of neat soldering in the back. Lots of wiring. This was a lot of fun to put together. I had I never finished it. Put the because I've done I've done the whole call nine one one thing before. But uh, yeah. So this is my uh, my. Poor man security system. I'm actually, for fun, I'll probably hook it up because I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving to uh, Ottawa soon. I'll probably hook it up in my apartment. I'll plug it and put it into a wall socket. It won't draw very much current at all, or r rather, won't consume very much power at all until the uh, until the uh, alarm is actually breached. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.